Hello and welcome to another preview chat on God is a Geek. My name is Chris White and today I am joined by Mr Adam Cook. How are you doing, mate? Hello, mate. I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad, man. I guess as everyone can see, it mm. uh, looks a bit like Splatoon. And we've been playing, well, you have been playing Splatoon 3. Mm. You've played pretty much everything there is to play in the preview sense. How is it, mate? Because, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting you say that, right? Because actually there are a lot of modes they announced like during the Nintendo Direct that I was kind of thinking that I would have a chance to play because yes. they're kind of newer. What I actually got to play was three levels of the hero mode, which is the single player for Splatoon 3, um, some multiplayer matches of Turf War and experiment with the new weapons and stuff, and Salmon Run Next Wave, which is like the new version of Salmon Run. Yeah. Um, so I guess, I guess where do you want to start, really? Let's go single player. Okay. Uh, well, so, so far, yeah. again, three levels is not a lot to gauge, but like it feels, it feels like they've kind of combined Splatoon 2's single player with the kind of Octo expansion, expansion DLC, uh, to make one yeah. thing. There's some stuff I saw I can't yet talk about that we'll save for another day that looks really interesting. Um, what I will say is you've got like a little salmonid, salmonid. I'm never sure how you say it. Salmonid, salmonid. Um, okay who normally you'd be shooting and sorry shooting inking splatting you'd be fighting in salmon run the horde mode right but this mm. one's called small fry and he kind of replaces a grenade in your arsenal as like um a little creature you can kind of throw out and you can get to stuff you i say he could be shit i don't actually know um but you throw this small fry out and it like can reach things you can't to give you access to places you otherwise wouldn't be able to reach like there's very early on there's like a, a zip line that you normally would just you shoot them and they become you know ink and you can sort of zip line across them as, as the squid um but you can't reach the thing you need to do so you throw small fry at it and 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 that little creature opens up that path for you and you wouldn't be able to complete the level yeah so there's lots of that sort of stuff and they also you know and, and it's, this is no surprise really but i guess some of the single player stuff i played feels like it's tutorializing some of the newer stuff so for example the um the tri blaster, the three way bow and arrow, I guess you would call it, is the new weapon. And in the single player, there is a level where you are forced to use that weapon. So you learn about it, and you know, you're like going along and you can do charge shots, and it fires three sort of arrows out. And if you jump and do it, you do um, a vertical one instead of a horizontal one. So there's like yeah. that. And you can just fire it really quickly to, to you know, damage things. But then also, when you do charge it and fire it, it leaves behind like a small charge. So you come yeah. across these enemies that have got shields up. They're in, they're in the previous games as well. And you have to sort of shoot the boards behind them that are going up and down because then when they go down, if you time it right, they'll explode behind them and take them out. So it's kind of teaching you these are things you can use this weapon for everywhere else in the game modes. Like, you know, yeah, okay, yeah. don't go into the multiplayer turf or thinking this is all this weapon is. It's This is an interesting thing. You could literally shoot behind someone and run away and it would splat them and, and it's like... That's an interesting weapon. Um, mm. did, may as well move into the multiplayer because um, we, we you know, did get to see some yeah, of that yeah, in action. Um, and again, you know, obviously, because I was trying out the... It's a, basically, it's a katana, okay? But it's it's Nintendo, so it's a windscreen wiper. And it splats ink out as you like f violently swing it at people. And <laughs> I, I really like it. I don't know how it will play out in terms of like the longer game, if it's viable. But I really like that new weapon. Uh, and that can be charged as well, if I recall. But then, like, the tri, tri Blaster thing, I'm sure that's not its name, but I'm going to keep calling it Tri Blaster. Like, that thing, people were using that, and it became very clear that that is a powerful weapon, but you don't really want to get too close to people with it because you're vulnerable because you have to charge up and, you know... You, whereas I could just, like, paint splat someone with a roller or a bucket or any of those other weapons, or just even the Uzis or whatever. You yeah. do need to charge to get that insta-kill sort of thing. You know, you're going to have to have those rapid fire, and by the time you've done enough of it you're already dead so it's like there's definitely that um i i found like one of the things i was really pleased to hear about and to experience is that the, the salmon run next next wave which is just their fancy way of saying we're carrying on with salmon wave is available from the get-go like you, you boot this game up on day one oh, awesome. it'll be there you haven't got to wait for nintendo to say it's live now you can just play it um and i found it quite interesting because i found like i played some of that but I didn't play it as much as I would have liked to because when it was, you know, everyone was playing it, it was time limited. So, you know, it was getting people together. 
Mm. Um, and it still does the thing of you are loaned equipment. So when you start like a wave, you are given a gun or a weapon of some description. And I found like the umbrella, for example, or the umbrella, whatever you call it in this. Um, I really, really stayed away from that, and I didn't see other people using it. And yet, using it in in horde mode in Salmon Run, it sort of like reminds you you have to use this because this is the weapon we've loaned you, and it's actually kind of good. And it made me start to think because this game is so much more accessible and like people can play it whatever they want whenever they want. Seemingly, I don't know for sure. And yeah. all the other modes, it, it, like for example, they've. What it feels like is that they've just added a lot of the little things that people kind of wanted. Do you know what I mean? There's no, I, I haven't seen anything yet that I would be like blown away by, in terms yeah, well, of changes. One of my questions was going to be like, does it? How does it feel like compared to the second one? Does it feel like a massive change, like a decent sequel, like, or is it just like you say, just added the bits that people wanted to make? So, so like, I think I think the single player is quite big from what I gathered again I'm not allowed to go into too much detail there yeah, but I, I, I'm quite impressed by that they've added loads of new modes that you know people can watch the Nintendo Direct for and, and I haven't played it anyway um, I think they I think this is you know it's one of those things where you, know, you, you look at what they're putting out and you think would they need to make a fourth one or is this the one like have they yeah, finally yeah. hit upon the one that is going to be their multiplayer service game so to speak where they will update mm. it and you know like there's there's again might seem like nothing but there's a practice range now so that when you're queuing for a lobby you know even if you're with your friends you can just go and try out weapons and equipment in the in like this practice area and just you know get a feel for yeah. what you want and that sounds minor but it's not because the, the Splatoon has always been kind of great fun but their way you know what I mean you've never been able to yeah yeah yeah, well, there, there are games like Overwatch where before yeah. you start, you yes, know, exactly give you that. an idea of all the abilities and stuff. It's a good yeah. way for you to learn what you need to know before you just get thrown into a match. Mm. No, it's exactly that. Like it's a little room off to the side. Um, I just really enjoyed it. Like it, it, it just, like I say, it felt kind of. It really, I will have been thinking about it how much I want to play it since, if that makes sense. Well, that's and, a good thing. Isn't oh, it? great you know? thing! Like, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm not here to be like what I played was revolutionary, because. It's Splatoon, like you know, in the same way that Gears of War Three was Gears of War Three. This is Splatoon Three. They've added new modes, they've added new weapons, new gears, new customizations, quality of life stuff. You know, it is a bigger, broader game from what I can gauge. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, if you don't like Splatoon, I don't see, you know, a way that that would change your mind. However, I do like Splatoon, and this feels, like I say, so far. In a preview sense, it feels like kind of the culmination of, of what I wanted them to do. And that every, every time they, you know, Splatoon 1 was great, Splatoon 2 was great, but they were always just like a little bit away. Yeah. There was just, it just never quite reached what they could have done. And mm. this feels like, I reckon it, again, I don't know yet. We'll, talk, we'll find out more when the game's out. But it feels like this could be that, that could be what they've been, you know, the culmination. So, yeah. Yeah, wow! Wow! If you want to go and uh, go and read what Adam's more more, more concise thoughts, uh, you mm. can go and check it out on godisageek dot com. Um, and if you want to support us by as little as a dollar a month, you can go to our Patreon where we post all kinds of things like articles, game code giveaways, videos, podcasts before everyone else. And you can join the live podcast. You can do that on Patreon dot com forward slash godisageek. Or if you just want to keep tre- keep checking out the videos and whatnot, you can subscribe, hit like, bell button, whatever you you know. Or you cool kids do these days. Uh, Adam, thanks for joining me. Cheers. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.